Alright, so I want to talk about this fucking Dragon Ball Z episode. I seen it this um, this morning and shit. And first, let me tell you, I didn't even see all of 21. Alright, this is the thing with me and Dragon Ball Z. I don't even gotta watch the whole fucking episode to know what the hell's going on. Alright, all I gotta do is watch like the middle and I'm done. And on top of that, this shit's already been in the movie, so this... It's all different. It's a manga that's different, and then it's a movie, and then it's the episodes that are all three are different. So, anyways, I'm talking about the episode. Episode 22. Now, this nigga Gohan, first of all, let me say, uh, fuck Chi Chi. Okay, that bitch gotta go. Or something. I don't fucking know. Because she is the reason why Gohan is getting fucked naked on the ground in front of his friends. That's how it is. That is it. that's the honest opinion. No, that's the honest truth. Because this bitch having this nigga study and do whatever the fuck he's doing, trying to be a scholar, I think that's what it is. Bitch, this nigga I don't know what the fuck I don't know. This nigga's half alien. Fuck a scholar. This nigga can fly. Like what you got him doing that shit for? You don't want him to be a fighter like his dad? My nigga, for what? Do you? I'm done. Like, that bitch gotta die. She gotta get fucked up in order to be like, alright, yeah, you, you gotta fight these niggas because I can't do it. Yo, dad doing it. He getting fucked up. Uh, His homeboy getting fucked up too. You know, everybody getting fucked up. His homeboy is, is, is human. He ain't even half alien. This nigga Krillin been fighting... He's, he, he tried to stop. Anyways, I'm, I'm kind of going off subject here. But Gohan got his ass tortured. Got his ass fucked naked by Frieza. And you know what? I'm kind of glad it happened too. I was glad it fucking happened. Because he needed that shit. Okay. You think it's okay to just stop doing what you're doing? Nigga, after everything you done been through? After several times you done... A strong nigga after strong nigga done came to earth fucking with y'all for no reason. Did you just think it up? Oh, that's all the strong niggas. It's done. Is that, is that what you did? My nigga, look. Okay. You half alien, my nigga. You got an obligation, alright? To run hands with any motherfucker that can breathe without oxygen in outer space. You, you, you're obligated to do that. Uh, Goku is, that's why he, this bitch Chi Chi trying to have this nigga as a radish farmer. For what? Boma Daddy is the, is the, is the richest nigga on, on the planet. And this nigga's farming radishes? It don't make any sense. It's like, it's like they made this bitch Chi Chi just... A nuisance just to be there, just just to just to fuck with the story. Like if if you really sit down and think about it, this bitch is having him farming though. For what? <laughs> For what? This nigga hurt you. I, I think he was gonna get him some money or something. I don't know. But if even if he wasn't gonna get him niggas no money, there's no way that they should be broke. There's no way that these niggas is saving the earth like this and they're not fucking set. There's no way. What she want this nigga to to be to to be a scholar for? They're aliens. They don't. They're. They don't need regular stuff. They're not regular people. This nigga Krillin. Okay, he gets his ass beat on the regular. Don't even try to throw this. Well, Krillin's. Krillin's a regular person. And Krillin gets fucked naked every time he takes a breath. What are you saying to me right now? This nigga Gohan is a Saiyan. Okay, half Saiyan. People saying he was one of the strongest motherfuckers in the show. He was going to be the main character. And then here go Chi Chi. Oh, hey, scholar, you know. No, you're going to you're going to put your head in the books. My nigga for what though? I w I really I don't know. It's just that and then this nigga Piccolo going to sacrifice himself again. Okay. All right. 
That's all I can say. Okay. What next? God damn it. Oh, the Dragon Balls. That's what. No, no, no. The, the Super Dragon Balls. Look, man, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Ah, just that episode. And then, and then fucking Goten and Trunks. Now, now, Frieza, that was a good episode for Frieza because I was thinking exactly like Frieza would have. Like, wait a minute. Hold on. Who the fuck? Another Saiyan? And then, oh, oh it, it, it's just two kids. Wait, wait, hold on. That fucking fake. Wait, hold on. That purple hair. Killed him, niggas. See, that's what I would have did. I would have recognized that nigga Goku. And I would have recognized that purple hair. Them niggas gotta go. Frieza did everything he needed to do. I'm mad he didn't kill Gohan. I really thought Gohan was gonna die. I was like, yep, there it is. Here it goes. He's about to die. I would have wanted that nigga to die. You wanna know why? Because that's what should happen. When a motherfucker is shooting beams at you every which way. That should happen in a show where people have died before. But hey, they're going to get revived sooner or later. So kill the nigga. He hasn't died yet. Kill the nigga. Are y'all not killing him because he's a kid? What the fuck was Chow to? This nigga blew up. Look. I just don't know what they're doing. They're, they're pissing me off. That's what they're doing. This goddamn show. I don't know what they're doing, man. And then that one skinny ass nigga. I forgot his name. Um, the one skinny nigga that was fucking everybody up. Okay, I remember reading that manga when it first came out. This nigga told Frieza something like, Hey man, I don't think you should go to Earth because them Saiyan niggas is there. He said something along those lines. And this nigga Frieza did not hesitate to shoot a death beam through this nigga chest and blast his, out, blast his ass outside of that window and into space. That nigga died in the manga. He died. He was done. And then they got this nigga in the show beating all kinds of ass. Like, what? What? Woo! Like I said in the beginning of the video, they got the movie, and then they got the manga, and then they got the episodes. And this is, for me, for me, this is the first time where everything was all fucked up. Shit, I mean, I understand in the mangas they censor some shit, or they might take some shit out. But this is just, it's like, you know it's the same because it's Dragon Ball Z, but what the fuck is going on? And then this nigga Captain Ginyu came out and like, that's the thing with the episodes. They will put so much unnecessary shit in there. In the movie, this uh, Frieza punched Gohan in the stomach. That was it. In the manga, I don't even know what the fuck he did because I didn't bother reading that part. But in the episode, he done. And then Captain Ginyu came out of nowhere. The one skinny nigga, Iron Body, I don't know what the fuck his name is, came out of nowhere, fucking shit up. Nigga, a frog gonna spell change on the ground. Then you gonna say it, and then. <sighs> How come Gotenks wasn't Super Saiyan 3 from the jump, nigga? What do you mean? You don't see thousands of niggas over there just fly, just, just in, in the air like some gnats, nigga? You better. What, nigga? Ah, I'm about to go over there and fuck some shit up. Don't say it's not. Uh, he, he can't do Super Saiyan 3 because Majin Buu, this is after that. This is way after that. So he should have been did that shit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. Gotta wait till next Sunday, though. Yeah, if that was it, um, subscribe to the channel and stuff. Share this video. Comment your thoughts about the episode if you even watched it. Uh, if you didn't watch it, your ass has been spoiled. I done said pretty much every important thing of the episode, really. So, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff.